Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Project Disclosure. It is January 23rd, 2020. And ladies and gentlemen, I ran across an article that was being sensationalized all over social media, including YouTube. And it was concerning this mysterious cosmic event called a gravitational wave. And it was supposed to have impacted the Earth on January 14th. Well, folks, we're all still here, and this gravitational wave is still being investigated. So, let me give you the disclosure on this. A mysterious cosmic event might have ever so slightly stretched and squeezed our planet last week on January 14th. Astronomers detected a split-second burst of a gravitational wave, which is a distortion of in space-time, but researchers do not know where this burst came from. The gravitational wave signal picked up by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, which is known as LIGO, and the Virgo Interferometer lasted only 14 milliseconds, and astronomers haven't yet been able to pinpoint the burst's cause, or determine whether it was just a blip in the detectors. Now, gravitational waves can be caused by the collision of massive objects, such as two black holes or two neutron stars. Astronomers detected such gravitational waves from a neutron star collision in 2017 and one in April of 2019, and that is according to new findings that were presented at the meeting of the American Astronomical Society on January 6th, 2020. Now, gravitational waves from collisions such as massive objects typically last longer and manifest in data as a series of waves that change in frequency over time as the two orbiting objects move closer to each other. The new signal was not a series of waves, but a burst. One more likely possibility is that this short-lived burst of gravitational waves came from a more transient event, such as a supernova explosion and that is the catastrophic ending of a star's life. Now, indeed, some astronomers have hypothesized that this could have been a signal from the Betelgeuse star, which mysteriously dimmed recently and is expected to undergo a supernova explosion. But the Betelgeuse star is still there. It's not that scenario. It's also unlikely to be another supernova because they happen in our galaxy only about once every 100 years. Now, what's more, the burst still seems a little too short for what we expect from a collapse of a massive star. On the other hand, We've never seen a star blowing up in gravitational waves before, quoted an astronomer. So we don't really know what it would look like. In addition, these astronomers didn't detect any neutrinos, which are tiny subatomic particles that carry no charge, which supernovas are known to release. Another possibility is that the merging of two intermediate mass black holes cause the signal. Now, merging neutron stars produce waves that last longer than this signal, while merging black holes might more closely resemble bursts that last around a couple of seconds. However, intermediate black holes merging together might also release a series of waves that change in their frequency. 
Now, LIGO came across this signal while specifically looking for such a burst, but that doesn't mean that is what it found. It is also possible that this signal was just noise in the data from the detector. But this burst of gravitational waves was found by all three LIGO detectors, one in the state of Washington, one in Louisiana, and also one in Italy. So the probability of the LIGO detectors finding this signal by chance is once every 25.84 years, which gives some indication that this is a pretty good signal. There could be other explanations for this mysterious burst. And for example, a supernova could have directly collapsed into a black hole without producing neutrinos, though such an occurrence is very speculative. Astronomers are now pointing their telescopes to that region to try to pinpoint the source of the waves. The universe is always surprising us, ladies and gentlemen. There could be totally new astronomical events out there that produce gravitational waves that we have not thought about and certainly not seen yet. And that is your exposure and your disclosure. Hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen, and please make sure you are subscribed and share our videos. Thank you for watching.